So, hello everyone. Don't hate me, but I'm going to talk about math today. So, mathematics is the language of the universe, yet we feel very distant from it. 30% of Americans say they'd rather clean a bathroom than solve a math problem. And about half of American adults say they cannot solve math problems. Well, <laughs> mathematical anxiety is a common problem, but it's not one's actual ability, but perceived ability that hinders one from doing well in math. So what makes us so disconnected from math? <laughs> well, it's because it's taught using punitive ways and abstract symbols which have no meaning for people. So punitive ways, and it makes math a punishment, and as a set of rules to be memorized rather than things to be understood. So what if we can play with math in real life? Well, there are lots of ap examples of playful math applications. For example, interactive simulations, computer games, and virtual reality applications. But our vision of the future classroom is not this, or this, or even this, but this, our real world. Well, we experience mathematical phenomena in our everyday lives. For example, when we throw a ball. Seymour Papert envisioned Mathland as this world where people could play with mathematics and learn it as naturally as they learned French while growing up in France. Mixed reality allows you to place virtual worlds in your real world. And so we created a virtual version of Mathland in mixed reality so that people can explore mathematics in the real world. Well, we bridge the gap between the real and virtual world by integrating real environment, real objects, and real interactions in the virtual world. So we do spatial mapping of your environment so your virtual objects can interact with your real environment. We use real objects as a proxy for your virtual objects so you can reposition, rotate, and resize objects. We allow you to integrate your real body in the virtual world and interact with virtual objects using your real interactions. So we were really inspired by the Rube Goldberg machine because you can use simple me mechanisms to create a very complex system here. So we created virtual tools using which people can interact and build new worlds in the virtual world. We have a rope, we have a local force field, a cube, velocity vector, and a ramp. So you can see that people can use it to create puzzles. Uh, over here you have a set of numbered rings and a friend of mine is telling me that, oh, this has to go through these rings in the right order. And you can use the tools provided to solve those puzzles. So we are putting ramps here, and we are going to put a force field so that the ball can roll down the ramps. As you know, nothing can work without gravity. Um, and you can also visualize the physics of objects, so you can see the trajectory behind the ball that's falling. And we use strobe effects in the ball to help you visualize the velocity of the ball as well. And not just that, but you can also modify the physics. So you can see we are changing the gravity here, and the predicted trajectory of the ball changes. So you can create a lot of physics puzzles using it. For example, you can show linear motion, projectile motion, or circular motion. And here's a glimpse of our project.
my collaborators are actually here in the audience, so a round of applause for them. Thank you, guys. So other than play, why else would you care about math? Well, because it gives you the power to change the world. Since ancient times, explorers have been using math to find their way on land and in sea. And Christopher Columbus wouldn't even have found America if it were not for mathematics. During World War II, we used cryptography to break codes. And these days, you, cryptography is really important for online transactions such as emails or chatting. Architects use group theory to create beautiful patterns. And group theory is used in everything from music to particle physics. Medical imaging was made popular using Fourier analysis, which is also key for your Wi-Fi, television, and radio. Relativity was made possible using one, the contributions of my favorite mathematician, Emmy Noether. And mathematics is at the heart of physics, for example, for quantum computers. And finally, Artificial intelligence in your digital agents and robots these days is possible using linear algebra and convex optimization from math. And in my belief, artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize the world by augmenting human intelligence. But let's just say you don't even care about changing the world. Why else would you care about math? Well, because it gives you the passion to never give up on your dreams. I was born in a small town in Hyderabad, uh, in Pakistan. And uh, my dad left us when we were really young. And we didn't know what we were going to eat, where we were going to live. But I stuck by my education as if it was the only thing that mattered. I got a lot of scholarships, and I ended up in the United States. When I came here, I knew nothing about physics or computer science but I was really fascinated by the math behind it. So I majored in math, physics, and computer science, and that led me to Google <laughs> and the Media Lab. So math really made it possible for me to pursue my dreams. And it wasn't that I wasn't scared, but I looked at the world around me, and it made me realize that I cannot give up. So this is the era of interdisciplinary problem solving, and you have to delve into field, different fields. I did a lot of behavioral sciences, for example, economics. I did life sciences and art and design. But at heart, I was always a mathematician, because math allowed me to play with the hidden realities of nature. It gave me the power to change the world and the passion to pursue my dreams. So fall in love with math, and you'll have a life of infinite play, power, and passion. Thank you.